I don't feel like I owe it to people to show how much me and bro love each other so when Offset insists that he and Quavo are currently on good terms, despite the fact that their relationship has come under investigation since Unk and Fuse inception, and take off's passing. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. We, we went through some. Mm -hmm. We don't have to show you smiles and faces. The former Migos rapper declared his affection for his groupmate and stated that neither he nor Quavo had any duty to address the rumors surrounding their brotherhood during an interview on Gilly the Kid and Wallow's million dollars worth of game. I ain't on no sucker shit with each other nigga we came in this shit together and we both knew that. We understood that and we lost our brother. Still go through shit. I know bro go through shit. And us love each other though at the end of the day. We men, we real brothers, and we cool with it. So be cool with it. Don't ever try to turn us against each other and shit like that. I hate that shit. At the end of the day, it ain't your business. In October, in October, Offset said in an interview with The Breakfast Club that he was friendly with Quavo. One of the most devastating episodes in modern hip-hop history was the breakup of the Migos. But with Takeoff's passing in late 2022, things only got worse. He and Quavo had just put out their first album together at the time, and Offset was concentrating on his solo music career. Before their family member's sudden death, tensions between the Hypnosis collaborators were already high. But in the months since, they've been able to put their disagreements aside more than once. They collaborated to put together a last-minute tribute to Takeoff for the BET Awards, which Offset claimed on The Breakfast Club today helped to mend his relationship with Quavo. What's your relationship now with, with Quavo? Host DJ Envy asked the Georgia-born rhymer. That's my brother at the end of the day. Set said without hesitation. But well, we good though, bro. We just with each other in Paris. Thankfully, both Quavo and Offset have each other to lean on as they work through the painful feelings of loss and grief. And it don't be for the public. That's the thing, like... Cardi B's husband reminded listeners. When it's like this, it don't be everything ain't for the public to be kiki in and... Everybody want us to be like, but we still got to move on our own worlds. He continued to explain. It's all love at the end of the day. We lost a brother. We can't. But he doesn't plan on getting too emotionally vulnerable on social media anytime soon. Elsewhere on TBC, the cloud hitmaker suggested that he and Quavo could join forces in the studio again down the road. But for now, his primary focus is making sure his family is taken care of. Only Built for Infinity Links, a collaboration between Quavo and Takeoff, celebrates its first birthday on October 7th. The former's day was undoubtedly bittersweet because he is still grieving the untimely death of his rhyme partner. Quavo released touching previously unreleased video earlier this month to honor the Rocket Man. Come back later for more music and pop culture news updates. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.